relate to you when you come into the building is just how welcoming, bright, airy it feels. I think there'll be a wow factor. I think the pupils can see that we're serious about their education. It's a fantastic learning environment for the pupils. It just makes you feel not like a student, but like an adult just going to work. It's a beautiful building. I think the uh, students will really respond to this kind of environment. It's more professional. It doesn't feel like a school. It's like more of an encouragement to work. It's more like a, a university college type building now. It's not like our old school is just a typical secondary school, that's what we had before. With every stakeholder, students, staff, governors, parents, carers, and the community in general, various partners that we've had a long established relationship with, we've been keen to ascertain what they want to see in the new building and literally what they don't want to see. When we were going through the big design we always said we don't like corridors because they like confined spaces, we'd rather it just be all one big open space that everyone can get around easily. This building has areas known as breakout areas and, and in every sense the building is an area where kids can break out and I think we'll find a lot of our students doing that both in a physical sense but also in an academic way. The breakout spaces are designed to make sure that we can be flexible in the way we deliver our curriculum so that students aren't confined to any one classroom. They can go outside, work as pairs, small groups, on individual projects. It gives it more of a um, college you grown up feel because you're not constricted to one place like your teacher can say oh just go out just go to the breakout and just finish off your coursework. For me as a language teacher I can send my students out into the breakout space to practice their speaking because in a classroom situation too much noise you know you can't get on with whatever else you need to do so they go out they do role plays they can act things out they can do little drama pieces. We have to um, produce really um, fearless lifelong learners and to give them the confidence to take on learning and greater ownership of learning themselves. We've got outdoor learning areas, we've got um, fantastic video conferencing and super ICT so that we can actually learn any place, anytime, anywhere. Technology is everywhere, the wireless system, they can use PCs and laptops to support their learning. There's like over 800 computers, so like, say if you need it for your work, you can just pop, like, pop into a computer room and just take one for your work. I think we've got everything that you could possibly want in a, in a 21st century learning environment in 2008. Everything's state of the art, no corners have been cut, we've got exactly what we wanted and it's about now using it to, to, to its potential. The design technology department, as an example, has facilities in there which are, in every sense, industry standard. Um, there'll be people who probably work in companies that won't be using equipment as good as the stuff that we've got. It's going to be new challenges for us to be able to teach new activities. The children are hopefully going to be so excited about being offered a climbing wall, a fitness studio. We're going to be less traditional in what we teach. And I think that's where we've got to move forward because I think society is less traditional and so I think we've got to move with the times. Every single department has got its state-of-the-art facilities, so no matter what interest or hobby a pupil's got or if they want to specialise in a certain subject, there's numerous pathways available to them um, to take, whether it be in sports, performing arts, which has got fantastic facilities as well. We have a purpose-built theatre where the pupils can actually get involved in doing stage lighting because the actual lighting system lowers from the ceiling. I love to perform and I do all the dancing and everything and we're doing We Will Rock You coming up in school and now we've got all of that equipment, all them lights and we've got the huge stage with the sprung floor and we've got all the tiered seating and we've got that huge space which that that'll enrich it not just for people that just do it as a hobby but for people who might want to pursue it as a career. When you look at the facilities that we have now at school it means that we can offer and deliver a curriculum which meets the needs of all our pupils. It's such an inclusive environment now for them to be in. Um, we've got a physiotherapy room now, we've disabled access, disabled toilets, we've a lift in this school. It's the kind of place where you just think lots of exciting things are going to happen. This is about much more than bricks and mortar. This is about giving young people and the community something that they deserve. I think the word I would use is hope. It's fantastic. Mind-blowing. Cutting-edge. Business-like. Spacious. Really inviting. Exciting. Fresh. Modern. Professional. Inspiration. Excellence. Enriching. Gorgeous. Gorgeous.